Hi, my name is Josh Soy. I work for Ridge Tool Company and I manage all of our drain inspection equipment. Uh, the LT1000 is a new product that we just launched that allows you to hook your laptop up to any of our reels and use it as a monitor. Uh, I wanted to show you real quick the software that goes along with that. It's called Sea Snake HQ. That's what you see on the screen right now. Uh, right now you're seeing the home screen. You see a list of all the jobs that we've done in the past. Part of the power of using your laptop is all that information gets stored on your hard drive uh, as a safe backup. If you ever want to hand it out to a customer, all you're doing is making another copy of it, either by DVD or thumb drive or something like that. So I'm going to start a new job. You can see I clicked on the new button in the upper left there. And we have a camera inside of a PVC pipe that I've got in my office here. Uh, over along the right side here, you can see that you've got some recording buttons as well as some camera control buttons. All these buttons are actually mapped to the front of the LT1000. So when you're in the field and you have hands uh, that are gloved and have sewage on them or something like that, you don't have to touch the keys on your laptop to get them dirty. You can actually go and push keys on the LT1000 and it tells the software and the laptop to actually take the snapshot. If you want to use the mouse, you can go and click on the icons as well. So what I did, I just hit the snapshot button. That takes a JPEG image and stores it there. And let's move the camera a little farther down the line. I can click the second one down, and this allows you to, to put captions on the image. And then store them. And you'll see over here you've got a little pencil icon that shows there's some comments on there. Everybody likes doing video. You can either click on the video in there or push the video button on the LT1000 and it starts recording video. To stop it, you either click on it or once again hit the button on the LT1000. So we took a picture, a picture with captions, and then a video during this inspection. You can also turn on your microphone, turn it off. You can toggle the sound on and off so you can go and locate it. You can zero the counter out, you can adjust the lights, and one of the things I think is coolest about the software is you can actually manually rotate the image. So if the customer wants to see an upright image on the report you give them, you can actually rotate it and take the picture. So let's go ahead and build a report from these images that we've captured. And by the way, you can actually go and drag and drop these images into a folder or onto your desktop if you wanted to just take the JPEGs and AVIs. I'm going to show you how powerful it is to build a report here. At the top here is a, a logo that you can customize. Uh, right now it's a picture of a jellyfish off of a Windows thing here. Let's switch it to the desert. You can switch whatever you want in there. Probably is going to be your customer, uh, a picture of the customer's house or the the access point or your company logo. You can put customer information in. We'll put Bob Smith in. He's already in the database, so you can autofill it by clicking that way. I was the inspector, so I'll start typing my name. I also get autofilled in there. If you scroll down, you'll see all the pictures that we took as well as that video and you'll see the caption that we had put in before. Let's say, uh, so if you misspell a word when you're typing it in here, you can actually right click on it and there's spell check built into it. So it's real fast and easy to make a very professional looking report. If we wanted to hide one of these, like that second image is sort of boring, you just go and click on it on the left and it hides it. Now there's a bunch of ways you can deliver your report in here. Under the standard tab you can email it, print it, or export it to thumb drive. If you email it or print it, it's just going to be a PDF that either gets attached to your email or printing it. Obviously you can't print video so it's just still images on that. The email is also just still images on a PDF. However, if you want to go and export it to a thumb drive, and I've got my thumb drive that has all my keys, so excuse the noise. So I'll plug that in. You could plug it into the front of the LT1000 if you didn't have extra USB ports as well. And then we go and find the SanDisk Cruiser, or whatever your thumb drive is called. And we'll store another test report on there. 
and that's just going to go and store a copy of this report exactly as you see it here on the thumb drive for the customer. Let's go in, jump into our thumb drive real quick here. And you'll see some reports I put on the on in the past. Just another test is the one that I named it. And there's our complete report along with images and video. And click on it. It'll bring up a little video player and you could go and watch that video. So pretty cool functionality there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump back into the report here. So we showed you those three quick ways of exporting the standard report. If your customer wants a DVD or if you're used to handing DVDs out to your customer, if you click on DVD it'll auto-generate a DVD that has menus, uh, descriptions, a slideshow of all the pictures, and then video on it as well. You just pop the DVD into your drive and hit burn and you're all done. <clears throat> the last way, which I think is a really cool way of, of communicating with your customer, is uh, uploading it to Rigid Connect. And you type a short description. You'll see that it auto populates the customer's information the uh, information on the images and video that we took didn't type anything in those before but when we're all done you can go and generate all these reports out in the field and then move them up to Rigid Connect simply by hitting the uh, button that says upload now Rigid Connect is really valuable because it allows you to store uh, securely and safely all of your inspections that you do out in the, out in the, uh, the field so let's say that you have your laptop and you've uh, done a lot of recordings and either it gets stolen or you drop it in a lake or it gets run over and smashed. You lose some very valuable information in there. If it's up on the server on Rigid Connect, uh, you can access it from anywhere, any time of day, and uh, you're never going to lose it because it's safely backed up there all the time. So we could go to visit Rigid Connect here. Um, I'd recommend you go to www.rigidconnect and look around see some of the functionality but basically your reports up there and allow you to send links out to customers and go watch it online and uh, give you a feedback on there uh, and interact on there very cool so let's go ahead and hit OK we'll go back to the edit screen here and I wanted to show you a couple of other neat functions in here under settings you can go change your email settings so you could send through Gmail or Outlook or whatever you have set up you can go change all the colors of the fonts on the DVD. You can even upload your own uh, commercial at the beginning of the DVD. So say your company has a commercial, you can start the DVD out with that every time. It's a good way to advertise your company when you're handing out DVDs. Report allows you to go in here. You can change the font, the color, size, logo, overlay. If you know you have your counter on here maybe see in the background I can move the date there you can position those wherever you want on the screen go change the video quality and even go change uh, how your counter is displayed how often this auto saves your reports so some very powerful functionality in there real quick I wanted to go ahead and show you another tool here if you click on one of those images you can actually go in and edit it let's say I want to adjust the sharpness on it by adjusting the sharpness, you'll, you can bring out flaws in the pipe. So let's say there's hairline cracks. Those show up a heck of a lot better here now that I increased the sharpness than they did in the original. So it allows you to do some pencil tool and put text on it as well. So some pretty cool functionality. One last thing I wanted to show you is how easy it is to go and start this up as well. I'm going to close completely out of HQ and turn my LT1000 off. Now all I have to do is plug my USB in and turn the LT1000 on and just like your iPod gets recognized by iTunes and automatically starts it up uh, the LT1000 will tell your computer to go and start up HQ once it's finished loading HQ then it's going to go and tell it to start a job and then you're pretty much right back in your monitoring window just like you would be with a traditional monitor. So very easy to use, very straightforward, and we're continuing to improve this. One of the cool parts about software is we can go and update it at any point and we'll uh, push those upload the updates to you and then you can go 
download uh, newer versions of HQ with more functionality. So thanks for your time.